This is Tanner with Woodgrain, and we're here with our second accent wall. So if you missed our first video, click the link above. We did a vertical line, modern craftsman style um, wall. Really turned out well. Super excited about how that went. It was a super simple build. This one's a little bit more complicated, but this one's a little bit more fun, I'd say. So modern inspiration. We started with a few vertical um, molding pieces and built around that. So essentially, we are using a couple different profiles here from Woodgrain. Like I said in the other video, you don't have to necessarily follow the exact profiles if you want to get this look. There's a ton of different uh, variety within even super similar profiles to these. But we're using a one and a half inch by three fourths inch um, molding here. Um, stop, I guess you'd call it. And then we have a three and a half inch base. So it's a prime base. This is actually a raw pine uh, molding. You don't have to use this, it's a little more expensive, but um, for what our job was, we really liked the look and feel and how it, how it worked with us. So this is how we started. I created a template here on my paper. So somewhat fell in, in line there. I kind of filled in gaps and wherever I felt like there were some, some missing pieces, I kind of uh, went a little off my, my original drawing, but it still turned out really cool in my opinion. I'm excited to put some paint on it, but a few tips to keep in mind as you build this out. So like I said, I, I created a couple key pieces and built off of that. So for example, I started with that uh, vertical upper piece and then I started with this piece as well. And then with the corner piece as well. So those were kind of my three starting points. And then from there, I tried to keep a flat line, a flat angle, a 90 degree angle. So with the secondary angle, I tried to do 45 degree cuts. So that was kind of how we based our template off of, was a 90 and a 45. And that was able to puzzle everything together. So that was my personal um, choice on how we wanted to create this wall. You could go a sharper angle, you could go a more obtuse angle if you wanted to go that route. But I would stick to a specific angle. If you mix too many different angles in here, you're gonna have a very difficult puzzle to, to solve. So we stuck with a 90 degree um, base blunt off of a lot of these and then with a, a 45 degree on the other sides. So that's kind of my tip for keeping this a little bit more simple. You could definitely go a lot deeper if you wanted to, but this one in all in all is not too difficult to build. Um, like I say, start with a few pieces that, you're, that you want to highlight and then build off of those and fill in the gaps as you feel like the wall specifically needs it. So guys, the next step here is caulking. So this one's going to be a little bit more than the last um, wall, just the fact we have so many different pieces and angles coming together. So caulking is going to go on here and then we're going to wrap it up with uh, different color paint. Like I talked about on the last video, I personally like bold colors. I like to have something that's going to make an impact when you walk in the room. Um, we're going to do a emerald green here. So if you can see that color, this is what it's going to look like. Um, if you want something that's not so bold, impactful, and kind of going to draw the eye, um, you just want some dimension in your room, you can always stick to the colors of the room, whether it be white. This is kind of a beige if we were to, to coat these um, moldings themselves in beige you'd still have a pretty cool accent wall, but it wouldn't be as bold as some of these bright and uh, dark colors that you see that are trending currently. A few little other things you could do to kind of help the process. You can always draw on the wall. These are gonna be painted anyway, so don't necessarily get scared or timid about drawing on your walls. You can use a pen, marker. Another thing you could do is finding your angle finder, picking a few angles if you want consistency. Uh, the only thing I'd really change about this build, this is the first time we've done it, was probably have straighter lines on these these uh, horizontal lines. I'd probably wish to do those um, a little bit more horizontally rather than on a slight angle in that, but it is what it is and it looks good nonetheless, so we're gonna keep it as, as it is now. So a quick tip for caulking is using a caulking tool beyond the caulking gun is actually using, it's almost a squeegee type and it can get in the cracks and fill in these, these seams on baseboards and all along the molding. So pretty, easy tool to use. So some of the tools we're going to use today are a nail gun. We're using two inch um, nails. You don't necessarily have to go this big. I like the two inch nails, just the fact that it makes the board more secure and you're not going to have issues over time of coming off the wall or anything like that. Um, we have our caulking. This is going to be our finishing right before the paint. We, uh, 
we have our tape measure. It's always nice to know the sizing that's key. Ladder to get up high. We have a level so we can make sure that we're getting the right angles. That is 45 degree angles, the 90 degree angles. That's pretty key to matching things up. We've got a crowbar as well and a hammer just in case. But uh, those are the key tools. And then lastly, we are going to paint it. So we have a fun color paint right there. So those are the key tools to execute this project. Obviously, the most important part, the molding. This is what makes the project what it is. Beautiful molding, wood grain, do great work, great job. So um, like I said before in the previous videos, ton of different molding profiles to choose from. You can, nest, you can literally go any direction if you want this look, but want to go a different profile, thicker, thinner, um, same dimension, but less uh, girth on that. You can take, take a look in the catalog and kind of see what other, other options we have. So depending on what your look is, that's the way to do it. Caulking, filling all the holes, this is gonna be a long process, my friends. But uh, after we kind of run the bead down, typically if we have, I personally don't have a caulking tool right now, but I'll run my finger to get the caulking into the crack. So quick tip on your caulking tube, cut it at an angle, don't just snip it off the top. This will actually give you a better angle as you're applying your caulking to your wall. Pro tip, bros and gals. So in the final stages of paint, applying in the seams, that's kind of the key part to make sure you can have fill in these cracks, especially with all the different angles and whatnot. So even application, I think the key is to not just kind of blast at it, but even application, keep going back and forth and make sure you're getting in the cracks, but uh, it's coming together. I like the color, the color turned out really cool. So pull along, finish this up. Time to relax. We're done. Um, this is our second accent wall. I call this the modern jigsaw. We didn't really have a template. I kind of drew something up, but this was a little bit more on the fly type design. Fitting pieces where they would fit and just getting really creative with it. Um, for this one, really just cut loose and go at it. So as you see fit, as you see holes, as you want to get more um, depth on the wall, make those cuts and make those uh, different different patterns. So this one's really fun. This one's a little bit more time consuming than our first video. Just the fact that there's a lot more cuts, there's a lot more angles. This wall took us about six hours. Um, the fact that there were so many different angles to cut and a little bit more detail involved in this wall. But all in all, very easy project. Really excited how it turned out. Makes this living room a lot more dynamic, a lot more visual and excited to enjoy it. Okay guys, tag us at We Are Woodgrain on Instagram. We wanna see what kind of accent walls you're creating in your own personal home and how you're using woodgrain molding. Thanks for following and stay tuned for our future videos.